All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, if we're pulling the EGR cooler off your truck, this is, uh, I'm not really doing a full video on this, but basically this piece right here over to your intake horn, this little pipe thing's easy. Um, this, unhook all your lines up here. Um, I think all this stuff has to come apart, so. But um, if you're getting the 15 mils that hold uh, the cooler on, get a breaker bar, half inch breaker bar with a 15 mil on the back and do it just like this. Have that breaker bar all the way out. Stick it right through there, it fits just perfect. And crank on that thing. I've been using these little guys, little wrenches, little fucking anything I could find. You know, stuff like this, just wasn't doing it. I, mean, I wasn't really thinking about it, but this right here would have saved me about a half hour. And I still haven't got the other side out yet. But once I get those two out, that should lift right off. But uh, yeah, that's just a little tip for you guys. Alrighty, so I got this side off now. I, got, I just got this side off. So what I have is a half inch breaker bar with a neck down from half inch to three eighths with a three eighths um, deep well on it. Oh, that's 15 mil. And I just got the other side off. So now this thing should be pretty much loose. Yeah. Just got a Gotta do a couple things over here, and uh, it should come right up. Oh, I gotta take this off. So uh, yeah, that's that. All right, so uh, we're back here again. Just um, I got all this stuff done here. EGR cooler off, and on your intake horn, got this little thing off. Um, I still got a. There's a spacer that goes in right here. Um, not sure what that removes, but it um, doesn't look too bad to take off anyways. Then um, next we're gonna do the CVV or CCV or whatever it is, crankcase vent. Um, all I'm gonna do is take this hose off here down to the turbo and put that little spacer thing in there in the hose, clamp that. Um, I see a lot of people take their filters apart inside their valve cover there. Um, I'm probably not gonna do that. I see it throws a lot of codes or it does something that I don't wanna be dealing around with. So uh, yeah, that's our next step. Um, I had a little coolant leak right here yesterday um, but I took the green, uh, the green spacer, can't think of it, the green fitting thing off the, uh, EGR cooler and just slid that over to this little piece. And it's, uh, it has a leak sense. Um, I spill a little bit of cool on my exhaust, so I still smell that burning off. Um, other than that. Just got little things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this out, take this piece off. Um, and I'm gonna do something with these wires. Not sure yet, but uh, we'll figure something out. Other than that, she's just a little filthy, but yeah. We'll see where I get. It shouldn't be too long. Probably an hour at tops. But, uh, yeah. All right, so got all the uh, the block off plates on. It obviously looks way better than it did before. Uh, I'm gonna get some uh, some sound clips for you guys. Um, when I deleted my truck, I only did the uh, my exhaust. I tuned it, and the tuner turns all your. Uh, 
your EGR off and all that. So uh, I never really had time to put on the plates and then I uh, finally got some time here the other day and uh, threw everything on and it sounds pretty good. It looks way better. But uh, yeah, hopefully next time we get a nice big turbo right here. But uh, that's probably a couple months down the road anyways. But uh, yeah, looks way better, sounds better. It's definitely a little bit louder, having a little bit more uh, free flowing air going through here. But uh, yeah, all these wires are here for my rock lights, if anyone's wondering. But I like that little red green. I painted these off, threw some paint on those. But other than that, she's uh, looking, sounding pretty good. I have some wheels coming in here. Uh, a little bit of a last minute thing for uh, Daytona. Don't want to go down on the stock, so uh, got something nice coming here. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, post up a couple sound clips and that'll be that. See you in the next one.